Hello and welcome to my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video, I offer you a psalm to focus on and to enjoy the psalm to bring peace and meditation into your own Christian walk. I offer this video not so much to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation, to help you find your own peace and calm in God's Word. Psalms are wonderful for that, to meditate on and to strengthen you as a Christian. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm that I want to offer you today is Psalm 32. And I see this as a psalm for great meditation on unburdening ourselves from pent-up guilt, from pent-up transgressions that we haven't let out. It's a great tool to confess to the Lord. This psalm invites us to open up about our sins and shortcomings. I know we humans are not good at that, but it is important for us to do so. So look at the opening verses here. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. And the psalmist parallels that with the next line, setting up kind of an equation and uh, by equation, I don't mean it just in the math sense, but to equate one thing with another. So with that, he equates, blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity. Why would God assign us iniquity to hold something against us? Well, he does not, but sometimes we think he does, which is why we hold our sins inside us and not confess them to the Lord. It goes on to say that the man is blessed in whose spirit there is no deceit. Where is deceit in this man? Well, the deceit is in holding back and not admitting our sins to the Lord. Look what happened to the psalmist when he doesn't let it go. My bones grow old, groaning all day long. I love the translation here. It's so poetic with those long O sounds that convey that suffering, that groaning and heaviness and emptying of vitality. Have you ever felt that, that weight of the world upon you? Vitality is sapped and turned into the drought of summer when all is hot and dry and we feel spent of energy. Then here he uses that word, sila, uh, which kind of translates it to an invitation to stop, to breathe, to listen. Then there's a slight turn in the mood, that acknowledgement to confess to the Lord. He gives in after that breath and decides to confess his transgressions. And what happens? God forgave that iniquity. And again, that word, sila. And I think this sila comes out more positively. Sila, second breath out. Because God will forgive you if you pray to him for forgiveness. And this psalm asks that. God knows us. He, he knows our sin. But it is important to let those admissions out, to not let them weigh us down. Then the psalm takes the voice of God, telling us that once we let out this weight, acknowledge our sin, he'll guide us with his eye. We just have to let go and trust. Don't be stubborn like the horse and the mule, which need to be pulled along. The psalm ends with trust, be glad, rejoice, shout for joy. It's like the elation we feel after we've been carrying a heavy weight. How light we feel once that weight is gone from us, like we're almost floating. Sila, breathe out. Lift off the heavy weight. Confess your transgressions and shout for joy. 
If you enjoy this video, be sure to check out other things that we have on our YouTube page, such as our Sunday morning Bible studies and our Sunday morning worship services, which we stream live, as well as a Sunday evening service that is offered by our minister, Mark. Be sure also to hit the thumbs up button to show that you enjoyed this. So until next time, let's keep Psalms and carry on.